Alright, back again Luke here, and today what I want to do is show you guys my latest pickup, and that is this Neo Geo X Gold setup. There's the box. <clears throat> and uh, this video might be a little bit different than everyone else's video, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm going to start off by saying uh, something a little bit strong here, and that is I think the system is pretty cheap. Um, I think it's kind of junk, uh, to be honest. And the reason why I say this here is on the inside, we'll take the system out, but uh, anybody who owns a Neo Geo or who has uh, played a Neo Geo before and can remember what a Neo Geo is like, this is not like a Neo Geo. This is a really poor emulation. Um, for one, I guess, you know, my image of the, the console itself was that it would have a bit of, uh, you know, volume to it. It would feel a little bit heavy, kind of like, feel like, um, you know, like it actually was well designed. But on, uh, in reality, this thing feels like it's really cheap, really cheaply designed. I mean, if we take a look at the buttons here, this button uh, around the side, you can see, it just looks like it was just mass produced and uh, no thought was put into it it was just kinda thrown off the assembly line it does not feel strong at all and this whole thing I mean it feels like a piece of cardboard um, it just does not really have much weight to it at all I mean from a distance if you were to look at this you'd think wow this thing looks good but up close I mean it looks really cheap uh, it almost feels like one of those tiger games you know back in the day but I think those were even made better uh, when it comes to the screen, this screen has got to be the cheapest screen that I've ever seen. This is probably more like uh, the Kindle uh, screens, if you guys have ever messed around with a Kindle before. Uh, it's similar to that. I mean, it's really, really, uh, yeah. Here, let me turn this thing on here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not. In the light, I mean, it looks horrible. Yeah, I don't think you guys will even be able to see it, but um, if you turn it just the wrong way, you can't see it very well at all. It looks really, really light. And the logo here flashes extremely slow. And then when it does come up to the boot up screen, you know, it's nothing super spectacular. Now, like looking through the camera, you would think, wow, this looks really, really good. Looking at it in person, it looks really, really starchy and uh, it, it doesn't show up very well. It's kind of like looking like this, like if you were to look at it on an angle. But uh, yeah, it, it's super, super lightweight. Um, this, the cartridge slot here has no cover on it. So any, any kind of dust or any you know particles, anything is gonna go in there and uh, get stuck inside that. And that's where the cards go. Um, yeah, I mean, like I say, this thing, I mean, it weighs almost nothing. It just feels so cheap and so light. Uh, this top part, I think this is probably just plastic. I can't imagine this being glass. It just feels it feels too, too light. I mean, my iPhone uh, 4 feels much, much more heavy than this here. I mean, uh, I didn't expect for this to be a bashing video, but to be honest, I'm really disappointed in this. You know, this could have been something super awesome, but instead, I mean, just looking at the button quality here, this thing's not gonna focus in right, but the button quality just looks so cheap. I mean, it looks like something that you would get out of, uh, like, a, a $2, you know, Pez game, something like that, you know, like one of those twisty games that are outside of a pizza place, you know. This thing just really does not, does not, uh, yeah, hold up <laughs> to the standard of, you know, this old beast here. But the other thing here is when you put this thing in, you know, you got to make sure that the, uh, the system is turned off. And... Uh, I, I actually wind up uh, disconnecting the power cord here as well because I mean this thing makes so much noise when you're trying to plug it in It's just ridiculous. It doesn't want to go in there very nicely either All right, so that goes in like that and we'll plug this thing in in the back This is the only way that you can charge it as well. So and it does have HDMI outs, but honestly, yeah just not a uh, not so cool I think <laughs> so let's uh, flip the switch here and you'll see it come on here it takes a second for it to register up on the screen here still waiting 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 
waiting. There we go. Now look at that slow, slow intro here. That's just for the, you know, the main menu, but we'll close this thing down here. Now look at this image. I don't know if this is going to even pick it up quite well or not. I bet you it's going to make it look better, but look at how it, it outputs that. I mean, this is just going through regular uh, uh, composite video. But you can see how staticky, I mean, that image looks in the background. It looks, it looks horrible, uh, to be honest. So let's, uh, let's scroll through here. Well, and uh, this thing's not wanting to scroll. Let's try and push the cord back in. All right. This controller too feels really cheap. <laughs> Sorry guys if this is uh, turning out to be a bashing video, but I just, I, it feels like junk. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that I bought it uh, and I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, if you're looking for Neo Geo quality, you definitely want to get a real Neo Geo. This is not uh, a Neo Geo. This is like, uh, you know, it's like the difference between, you know, having a girlfriend and having a a blow-up doll that looks like a real girlfriend next to you. I mean, that's the only way that I can compare it. But uh, here's Magician Lord, all right? I got Magician Lord in this one as well. So what we'll do is let's turn the power on on this one and uh, let you listen to the intro for this, the startup menu. Turn this one up a bit. All right, so let's flip the switch. All right, so that's the intro here for the real Neo Geo. Now let's uh, kind of mute this thing, see if we can. All right, we'll mute this. Now let's start up this one and uh, check out the Neo Geo intro for this. All right. Can you hear the difference? I mean, it's just like, you know, you know. Um, you can also see a huge quality difference here in the difference between the two monitors. And uh, I mean, take a look at this. I mean, it's just like bleeding red everywhere. This one, nice, crisp, and clear. And it's not a difference of the TV or the monitors at all. It's a difference between the actual system. You know, it's the real hardware versus the emulated hardware. So just to prove to you, you can see how red it is on this screen here. And uh, let's take off these cables here and we'll plug them in here. So this is the actual Neo Geo. But you can see how clear and how crisp that, that picture is. I mean, even running through uh, composite cables, that's the way it looks on the real Neo Geo versus you know, when you plug in this thing, you can probably see, you know, the, the really red kind of color blur going on in here. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, yeah, this thing is, it's not that cool. <laughs> I was really hoping for something uh, a little bit better here and, uh, you know, quality wise. And uh, if it was made by SNK, uh, like, really made by SNK this would have been great but it's made by uh, what is it Tommy or Tomo is the uh, the company that made this one but yeah not uh, not anything like the original that's for sure so uh, you know my verdict on this thing like I said it's it feels it feels like it's uh, a kind of a little tinker toy like something that will break and uh, it's probably gonna break within you know the first few months of owning it and which is kind of funny as well because uh, let's take a look at this this is the Ninja Masters game comes in this little baggie here but <laughs> I got a was it I got the warranty for this thing and I thought it was really funny because well there's the uh, HDMI cables but the warranty for this is 90 days <laughs> so it's got a 90 day warranty on it in the back of the book which uh, I think most manufacturers give you like one year but this thing's got 90 days kind of like a used item 
Where is it? Mm. Right, I think, uh, where is it? This is the 90 day agreement here. There anything else? Yeah, 90 days. You can see it right there. So the warranty for this is 90 days, which is, I mean, that's that's just wrong. <laughs> that's really wrong. So nonetheless, uh, verdict, would I recommend picking one up? Um, no, uh, for about 200 bucks, if you're interested in getting a Neo Geo, I think you can pick up a, a real Neo Geo for about 200 bucks. And, um, you know, it does have the little portable function, but if you want to emulate a Neo Geo on a PSP, it'll look a uh, hundred times better than what it looks like on this thing. So I would, uh, would kind of go against this one unless you just want to put it up on your shelf and say, hey, you know, I got one when it came out. Um, it's a clone system, but, you know, I bought one. You could just have it on display, but it's not one of those things where you're really going to brag about it to your friends and say, oh yeah, you know, this was a great buy, because <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so anyway, sorry about the, uh, the negative video here, guys, but um, just trying to give you guys a heads up and, uh, you know, what to look forward to with these things. Because it's, um, you know, when they mentioned the quality of the stick, they said, oh, okay, this is supposed to be feeling like a real Neo Geo stick. It doesn't. It feels cheap. Um, it, it even looks cheap if you have a real Neo Geo stick or you've played a real Neo Geo you'll know that this it feels it feels cheap it looks cheap and the system itself is I mean there's not really much else to say about this thing it's a it's a, a scaled down version of the original Neo Geo and uh, it's a really poorly designed version of the Neo Geo but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my take on it, and uh, I know there will probably be people out there who disagree with me, but uh, anybody who owns a Neo Geo, who has played a Neo Geo, um, who is a big fan of the Neo Geo, will be disappointed in every which way with this system here. So, yeah, that's about enough rambling for me for right now. Just thought I'd share my thoughts here on the Neo Geo X Gold here versus the original Neo Geo. And uh, yeah, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. There's the other thing too. <laughs> no intro. <laughs> so we got a full intro running on this one. We got uh, nothing running on this one. Just jumps into the game. That's really sad. Doesn't even give you this cool little intro for the game. Can you hear that kind of like mew, 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 mew sound? Let's uh, start this one out. over to this one. And here's the other one.
the Neo Geo X Gold. <laughs> so yeah, you decide, but uh, that's, uh, that's just my feelings on the system here, so yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>